Right, new year 2021, um, lots of new projects, plenty on in the workshop, so we'll just run through what's happening and a um, few, few things for you. You've seen the OK Supreme coming on, ready for the strip down, we've done all the mud guards, got the Parker engine in it, gearbox, and um, so looking forward to getting that apart and uh, off to the painters. Uh, <clears throat> next one is the new acquisition. We've been doing a bit of buying recently. The museum has bought, uh, I think it's nine bikes in December. So uh, keeping on the pace, um, new Hudson. This is a 1929 350 twin port, classic bike and um, New Hudson, very famous people. In 1932, they changed the name to Girling and stopped, um, which are the, the fantastic brake and hydraulic system, Girling. And then they carried on after World War II, BSA's bought them out, and that was the finish of New Hudson motorcycles. So, nice project, not too serious. Uh, the chromes, obviously diabolical chrome job that's been done on it. The chrome's just flaking off like that. Tissue paper chrome. So that's what tissue paper chrome is where you just peel it off and let it float down. So we'll have all the chrome bits off. Get it off to John at, at Key Plating Gosport uh, and um, get the chrome work underway. Next project that we're working on is the um, cotton. Uh, as you see we've got the exhaust pipes all nicely chromed up. Um, <clears throat> getting ready to put the mag on and um, paintwork's coming on. Petrol tank's gone off to Dave JBS East Coker. He's gonna do the petrol tank and um, the wheels are at uh, central wheels so we're gonna be held up a bit there but um, coming on. So this is another new acquisition, the Zender. I took a shine to it at a recent auction and a um, bit of history. Um, Fritz Cocker designed it and uh, I, I think it's quite unique and um, horizontal 110cc two-stroke little two-speed gearbox here and this is the later one this is 27 chain drive the up to 27 they were belt drive but i'm happy this is chain drive so it's much better to um have chain drive than belt unique seat see how the suspension on the seat is so get all that fettled up and um <clears throat> also it's quite close to my heart because um it came from the ex Joe Ryan collection that was sold and used to race with Joe Ryan Norton's and, and the Irish races and he lived in Ballyclare where I spent a lot of my youth and um, he had a far place business so uh, the really nickname his Norton's are flying far places and he was a fantastic tuner Ralph Brown rode for him and um, he had a hallmark of never cleaning the bikes. He used to keep them absolutely covered in rubbish. And I think actually they were in a shed where there was pigeons and there was pigeons poo on the tank. And he used to turn up at races like this and the scrutineers were horrified. But he, he loved it. And then when Joe Craig came over from England to race in the Northwest and the Ulster Grand Prix, his bikes were absolutely immaculate, polished to the extreme all beautiful British racing green, uh, chrome, fantastic, everything immaculate, mechanics, white overalls, dual arrive with this thing covered in rubbish, poo on the tank, and um, the inevitable happened. Joe Ryan's bikes blew him into the weeds, so it went down very, very well, and, and they really loved it. I must admit, in Northern Ireland, with this polished, immaculate thing was blown off by an old bike from Ballyclare. So, um, Bally Clear also, uh, first sports car meeting or 
motor racing event I've ever seen in my life was the Ulster Tourist Trophy Race 1946 Ballyclare Circuit and uh, this is where this came from. So one of the searches we're going to do is find out how it got from Switzerland where it was made to Ballyclare Northern Ireland which is again and it survived quite well a few dents in the tank we'll get all that sorted out very interesting forks leading link forks telescopic leading link 1926 so excellent so we'll all enjoy having that apart we'll enjoy getting it running outside and uh, off we go so um, lovely project and uh, we already organized the tires 28 but 2 so because we need a tire for the back so that'll be coming along so then we move on to another acquisition um, just recently very close to my heart um, XOB International 6 Day Aerials this is a, one of the works bikes um, the works team was um, Ron Langston Gordon Blakeway and yours truly we all won gold medals on them and um, so this one came up so we thought we'd have to have it for the uh, aerial section in the museum um, happy memories there's yours truly on it I think that was in Garmisch Park in Kirken but um, again won a gold medal on it uh, like Ron Langston and Gordon Blakeway so we're going to have this the team together shortly as soon as the weather picks up a bit we'll have the team down we'll all have a ride on the international six day we'll get the gold medals out that we won so we'll have a, a nice little um <clears throat> meeting a lot of people are looking forward to it, so you'll be able to enjoy in enjoy come and see the team come and see the bike running and um happy memories when um Miller used to ride it in the International 6 to 8 trial, so here we go, off to, off to a good start, so happy memories, thousands of miles on this thing, over all sorts of terrain, QD wheels, but we'll go through all that later, and um, a nice little project for 2021, that's the plaque for Ron Langston. I was looking at some tools the other day, and uh, in our special toolbox this appeared so what's this here uh, some characters names on it Miller S Miller well there's a bit of history with that because Miller used to go to night school at the Belfast Tech in the evenings um, when he was 16 uh, and the metalwork class and uh, this was one of his exercises so um, made that uh, he made Turk me turned all these up uh, put them in swaged them over uh, good exercise and filing to get all that perfectly lined up and what does it do well uh, interesting little thing for centering um, saying you've got this here and you want to center on it so you put it there you get a scriber you get a scriber there and you pop that on there like that and you pop that through like that and then you can turn it around and put it on like that and hey gusto you got the perfect center so um, and then you off you go but um, wouldn't like to tell you how old that is but um, say about 70 plus so um, I can actually remember swaging those over and facing that up and um, in the in the metal class excellent so little project that just turned up that I thought you'd be interested in there we go um, we'll do some updates on the new Hudson updates on the um, cotton that's not very far away from being finished um, we'll, I've started to cable up a bit on it so I think we'll do a cable exercise to show you how to make up cables when I'm doing the front front brake cable. Um, so there we go, up to date 2021. So plenty of projects coming along, so we'll keep you up to speed.